Let's go. Starting with quad dominant. One of my terms. Co-contraction partial lunge. Let's talk about the co-contraction partial lunge very briefly. It's an exercise that I named and an exercise that I induced in the industry in the late 90s. Reversing the, the title and reversing the sequence of exercise doesn't, the, doesn't provide an adequate smokescreen for anyone in the know about what the story is there. Hmm. So, first introduced in 1998, I believe, in a video, Strength Specialization, and I talked about the teardrop shaped muscle, hand on, even uses the same descriptions that I, uh, that I wrote about, hand on the teardrop shaped muscle of the vastus medialis. Okay, now we're talking in the dynamic lunge. This description originated around about 1999 in my writings. And after publishing the dynamic lunge description a number of times, it became the uh, same description appeared in another author's writings as of 2004. Let's talk about end of 2005, 2006, 2007. Let's talk about the static lunge. Writing about in 1999 and with words like place the bar on your back or dumbbells in your hand and take a long step out etc etc Oh, 2003, four years after I first published it place the bar on your back or dumbbells in your hand and take a long step out Hmm So using the 2000 variation, the shin of the lead leg will be determined the horizontal length of the step during the lowering. The shin of the lead leg will determine the horizontal length of the step during the lowering. Keep it fairly vertical, keep it fairly vertical. Also aim to track the trunk vertical throughout the movement. Also aim to keep the trunk vertical throughout the movement. The bottom position should be one where the knee, the bottom position should be one where the knee, blah, 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 100% verbatim. 2003, then used again in 2004, once again, 100% verbatim. 2005, 100% verbatim. 2005, in a co-authored mainstream textbook, more heavily paraphrased. <coughs> Let's talk about the single leg partial squat standing on the low block. And when I introduced this exercise into the industry, I taught it using, typically, typically using a 10 second pause every 10th rep. Pause one second, return to the full extension, about one to two seconds. At the 10th rep, pause in the bottom position for about 10 seconds. You should not rest the non supporting leg, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Can you go on? If yes, remember you have blah, 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 blah. Okay, and the final paragraph. If possible, don't hold anything, etc., etc. So that was uh, 99 and in 99 get buffed, all was the same. In 2000, I wrote the same thing. Stand on the edge of a low block. And five years after, or four years after I first started writing it, single leg partial squat, stand on the edge of a low block, stand on the edge of a low block. E.g. one third to one half, e.g. one th word to one half the height of an all bench block. Have the weak leg on the box and the strong leg, have the weak leg on the box and the strong leg off. 100% verbatim, all multiple paragraphs. As you can see back up here, can when you spread out multiple paragraphs. Can you go on? If yes, remember what you start, you must finish. This exercise must be done in multiple to 10 with 10 second pause in the bottom position. 100% verbatim. Oh, and again, so what have we got so far? 
We obeyed him 100%. Okay, let's talk about the single leg squat, otherwise known as a one leg squat. A traditional exercise that I use extensively personally and taught extensively. And I wrote about it from 1999 onwards, single leg squat. You know, do, 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 stand on one leg. Stand on one leg beside the squat rack or similar. Place the other leg out so that the heel stays off the ground at all times. Bend the support leg and go down as far as you can whilst. Stand on one leg beside the squat rack or similar. Place the other leg out so that, you can he so that the heel stays off the ground at all times. Bend the support knee and go down as far as you can. Initially, I suspect your range will be, initially, I suspect your range will be 100% verbatim. Single leg squat. Okay. Now we're into it. One, two times, year unknown there. 2003, verbatim, 100%. 2004, verbatim, 100%. 2005, verbatim, 100%. 2009, a little bit of paraphrasing, just a little bit. Don't want to get too original. Okay, let's talk about the Bulgarian squat. An exercise that I popularised in my writings in the late 90s. It's influenced by certain Bulgarian. So that was 1999, 1999. Some know this is a Bulgarian, Bulgarian squat with a difference. Face away from a normal height bench and place your rear leg up on the bench. You can check your distance by having a relatively vertical shin, etc., etc. Some know this is a Bulgarian squat with a difference. Face away from the normal height bench and place a rear leg up on the bench. You can check the distance by having a relatively vertical shin. 100% verbatim. Claim copyright in that publication. A little bit of paraphrasing. That's unusual. 2003. Variation again in 2003. Again in 2004. 2004, facing away from the bench. Just a little bit of paraphrasing. 2005, facing away from the bench. 2009, paraphrasing even a bit further. Paraphr uh, 2009, variation of. 